In a fast spectrum reactor, uranium and thorium perform the same. In a solid fuel reactor, uranium is a superior choice. It is only in Alvin Weinberg's thermal spectrum molten salt breeder reactor that thorium's advantages become clear. And this is what I think is really worthy of consideration. Right now, we have to make an economic case for why should we consider thorium as a fuel source. We can go and we can mine uranium and we can enrich it and we can essentially burn out the small amount of uranium-235 in that. And you can put an economic quantification on the value of a gram of fissile material in the form of LEU. Uh, it's on the order of um, 10 to $15 out of the ground. That's, that's what a gram of, of U-235 in that fuel represents. So if you want to make an economic case for why you're going to use the thorium fuel cycle, you better figure out how to turn a gram of thorium into fissile and fission it for less money than that. Otherwise, well, nobody's really going to care from an economic basis. And so this is why we want to pursue radical simplification in the reprocessing. We want to make it as simple as we possibly can, but no simpler.